everyone welcome back to my channel i'm sure also knows the paradise sims on here and all my socials for those that are joining me back thank you so much for joining me be sure to join the discord so you guys can stay connected and for those that are new here hey be sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you guys can get notified for all of my uploads in today's video you guys i'm going to be showing you guys and giving you a few tips and tricks on a few configurations and mods and overrides that i have in my game in order to achieve better in-game lighting and better in-game graphics as always everything mentioned in today's video will be linked below so be sure to check out the description for that and i'm just going to get straight into it so before you even get your game open up my first tip when it comes to better in-game graphics is ensuring that your graphics card and your game are configured to one another so my pc specs are located in all my videos but i have a geoforce nvidia graphics card and so if you have another graphics card i would definitely do your research on a program that's similar to the one i'm going to highlight and that's the geoforce experience so for those that have similar graphics cards you guys could probably more than likely use this so as you can see all my games that i have or whatever are here so i'm going to go ahead and select details and so right now my game is not optimized unfortunately but what this does is if you were to configure and optimize your game essentially it will fix items such as shadowing in-game objects you know reflections of against, against the water it also increases the quality of how the sims look the textures of some of their clothing visual effects such as smoke and fire and also like distance so you can see further out into your game so if you were to configure this correctly you can of course like change edge smoothing and stuff like that here but i definitely want would recommend configuring it to your graphics card so you can basically push your game as much as your graphics card can essentially handle so definitely would recommend a, the program like geoforce experience for those who have similar graphics cards and then for those who don't i would definitely do your research on similar items as well now as for in-game settings i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my in-game settings so i do have my refresh rate on 120 which i probably shouldn't but typically as long as it's at 60 you should be pretty much good as for my graphics i have my sims quality on very high i have my objects on very high i also have my <laughs> lighting on very high as well reflections and visual effects are also on high i do have my edge smoothing off sometimes i turn it on sometimes i turn it off recently i've been just keeping it off i do not like how it looks right now 3d scene resolution is also high along with my view distance and i of course do not have laptop mode checked they do not have laptop mode checked so these are my in-game settings these work for me of course of course these are the settings that work for me i am of course like beating the hell out of my computer and my computer is screaming and you guys could probably hear my fans every now and then in a couple of my videos but i know my computer i know that i could push it to this limit so these are mine of course just be careful with your own graphics depending on what kind of graphics cards and everything you have um to make sure you're not overloading your computer another mod that i recommend is the sunblind mod by softer haze and what the sunblind mod essentially does is it's a realistic lighting overall and it changes the way that sunsets look in the game and also creates more realistic daytime lighting and desaturates certain lighting and shadows at night and these are some of the images that are available on the download page and i definitely recommend sunblind it makes such a huge difference in my game especially at night because my game used to be really dark at night and it is super bright during the day so i definitely recommend this the way to download it is not as difficult as people make it seem and they did just do a update for the love struck ep so i definitely think this is a must-have when it comes to lighting because it makes such a difference you know just the sunsets and the sunrises are much more beautiful so definitely would recommend sunblind by the creator softer haze another must have replacement that i have in my game is the no blue override and this essentially is a lighting replacement that removes the blue tint that comes with the maxis game so with no blue it will completely remove that tint and it does appear more realistic there was an update and so there are three different variations to choose from i use just the normal default gameplay version 
but as you can see based off the images on the download page there are several different options so you can make it darker if you choose to do so with no blue um you have to have to download uh no glow you don't necessarily have to but they essentially go hand in hand and with no glow as you can see it removes that glowiness um the, uh, com compared to the regular ea maxis light and so the two kind of go hand in hand in my opinion you can have one without the other but i don't think it really is the best to do so so definitely would recommend no blue and no glow by lumia um in order to achieve some better graphics as well that kind of goes hand in hand with sunblind i think like those alone honestly especially for maybe mac users who don't have um other lighting resources or um lighting programs those i think are pretty good overall and can really work as well so definitely definitely would recommend those two by lumia the next program that i would recommend is g shade now full disclaimer i am aware of some of the unusual activity that was reported with the creator by g shade and like full awareness there was reports of there being possible malware within the program and i know some people might not be comfortable with that but me personally i have never experienced an issue with it if you do not feel comfortable with g shade i would definitely recommend reshade reshade is another program that's very similar to g shade in essentially where you can change the shaders and lightings and graphics within your game so if you do not feel comfortable with using g shade because of that situation um of course do your research and everything whatever you're comfortable with whatever you're comfortable with putting onto your own computer um but those are two that are very similar but for this video i'm going to mainly talk about g shade now i use personally use g shade i feel like the shaders just seem a little bit more vibrant and apparent to me within my game and so g-shade is very easy to download there's several different tutorials regarding how to download g-shade and it's very easy to install depending on what kind of item like what kind of platform you have so typically windows is what majority of people have and g-shade i think is one of those things that really level up your uh sims game so i'm gonna kind of get into uh, what G shade I use and how I configured my G shade. Okay, so once you install G shade into your computer, depending on what kind of uh, keyboard or PC you have, uh, to bring up the menu, mine is Shift Backspace, and so I'm gonna dra drag it over here. And so the G shade that I use is always linked in all my videos, but I do use the Pearl by Emily G shade. So this is the G shade that I use. And so this one is definitely less red toned. Uh, this is the before prior to applying the G shade preset. And this is after, and I love this creator. I love all her builds and everything. And so I definitely really love this G shade preset. It makes such a difference to your screenshots and to the way that your, um, all your builds and everything in your world look. So I definitely recommend this G shade for those that are kind of trying to find the right one. It's very crisp, very clear. Just, I don't know what it is. Something about it that I just really, really, really love. As for my G shade, as you can see, mine is the Pearl preset with changes. So not only do I have the Pearl preset installed on my computer, I also have a few others such as Boho Dreams, which is actually a reshade preset, but I still use it sometimes. And I also have um, Cocoa Milk by another creator and an old um, preset that I have. And the thing when it comes to playing with your G shade is playing with the different shaders. So I added a few different shaders that came with a few other presets and I added them onto the main pearl preset that I had because that was the main one that I like. So for instance, I added like the MXAO that just makes things appear like more blurry. And then I also added a retro tint on there as well. And also added Adolf. Um, so when I hit tab, it will create that like blurry background almost. So that's another way to just get like better pictures and stuff like that as well. So definitely, definitely recommend the hotkeys thing. So definitely playing around with the different shaders to make kind of what you're looking for. You can always adjust the settings as well. So you can make 
for instance you can make a tint more darker or you can make it lighter so definitely don't be afraid to mess around with the settings when it comes to g-shade so you can achieve the specific type of shading and imaging and graphic and appearance that you like so definitely don't be afraid of g-shade mess around with the settings mess around with those shaders get used to them so you kind of get familiar with which which ones do which yeah definitely would recommend g-shade and definitely would recommend that preset as well another mod that i definitely recommend is by one of my favorite creators and that is northern siberia winds and that is the even better sims for lighting mod and this mod essentially what it does is it makes your in-game lighting even better so this is what your game would look like with the no glow and no no blue mod that was mentioned earlier and this is what your game would look like with the in the better in-game lighting mod and even better so it makes a substantial difference in the lighting and the brightness of your sims face within your game and there's even if even better mod lighting for indoor settings uh, darker indoor settings as well so it's just a default in-game lighting mod and it's base compatible and it doesn't affect your game performance in any way so definitely would recommend this for better in-game lighting so you can of course have a way better way better in-game lighting and your sims appear way more gorgeous in game another mod that i have in my game is called no fade on everything and this is for realistic plants and objects and this is by the creator mazur uh, mazur yuki and so what this mod does is it essentially <laughs> removes all the fading off of objects and plants and i think it's a small detail but it makes such a huge difference because i don't like when the plants look faded i don't know why but it was just a personal preference for mine so this is a small little mod that makes a difference in regards to just overall graphics and how your game appears so definitely definitely would recommend the no fade on everything another creator that i definitely recommend is a uh, tech uh, tech hippie also known as k hippie and they have several different series of overrides and replacements for terrain plants roofs foundations anything you can basically name they also have overrides for like tram railway railways and stuff there like in willow creek but i definitely recommend this because it completely changes everything it makes simple things like the ground and grass and and the normal plants that you see everywhere look so much better and just overall way way more realistic as well there has been some, i personally have some issues with some of them but i still keep these mods in my game so of course read the creator's notes to make sure you're uh, downloading the most up-to-date version of it but definitely would recommend all of these mods by tech hippie in order to change your game up a little bit um it's a small detail but you will realize them when you kind of like looking at certain things and you're like oh that looks very different than before so definitely definitely would recommend the terrain and overrides um, by tech hippie as well now for the last override that i'm going to highlight in today's video this one is a little bit more on the difficult end i'm not gonna lie i still barely understand it to this day but i know it makes a difference in my game and that is the sims graphics uh graphics rule override and what this is is i'm actually going to download it so you guys can kind of just see it so what the sgr override does is it essentially changes certain graphic rules in your game for instance like view distance um it overhauls laptop mode settings for so for those that do play on a laptop also for clipping so it lets you get closer to items before it cuts away it also increases your lighting quality and items of that sort as well so definitely read through the whole entire thing you do have to place it into your configuration override folder so depending on how your yours is downloaded most people have theirs downloaded through electronic arts mine is still through steam so mine is probably different than everyone's but um definitely uh read through the full thing so you can make sure you're placing it in the right folder but this makes a huge difference it will let you like mention go further before it cuts away and it does increase your lighting 
Um, so definitely would recommend this overall as well in order to increase the lighting and graphics within your game as well. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video here. As always, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and be sure to share this with a friend. As always, thank you guys so much for the support. All the links will be available below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.